Hello, today we are going to be looking at the overview of clear calcs on timber column calculation in Australian standards. This also can be used for the New Zealand standard, which is almost identical. This is a generic timber column calculation from the AU standard. We are designing to AS 1720.1-2010. As all the calculators in clear calcs, we can input our design values to the sections on the left hand side and find the output results, dynamic graphic, and the summary on the right hand side. For the timber member, we can either select our members from the ClearCalc database, click here, we can choose from the drop down list, or simply type the section name and uh, we can find it. Otherwise, we can customize our own member by defining the uh, timber species and its section sizes. We can also design whether it's on, in a group or laminate of our member. For example, we can bind three members here. Then we design our column height and define the lateral restraint types of its minor and major axis. If the column is described and an axis, we can customize the effective lines of buckling if we are not sure about an option, we can always click on the label and it will show the description and references. Like other clear calculators, we can design unlimited supports of our column, whether it's pinned, fixed, or by roller, positioned from the bottom to top. And we can simply type either by numbers like 1500 or simply formulas, like we can type L over 4 here. For the loads, we are also including unlimited numbers of loads in various locations. We can define the actual, lateral, or moment loads for various types from the drop-down list. Or you can simply click here to link the other design members in the project to our column. Generally, axis loads are act, acting through the center of the column, but we can customize our eccentricities we can select from the preset eccentricity list, or we can enter manually by entering a value. We can choose whether the self weight of our column is included in our collection or not. And then we select the character of our impulse load to which is most applicable. We can apply loads about the manner axis of our column and wind loads if required. We can input these loads accordingly by our design. The design criteria allows us to specify the limits for the deflection, design condition, and structural category. Again, if we are not sure about anything, simply click on the label and we can get the information. Scrolling down, here comes the load case analysis, modification factors, and other intermediate steps. Finally, scrolling up to the right, we our computed results, the dynamic reaction and load combinations are always updated in real time. We can also use the traffic light system to see whether our design is passing or not. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or request any features or functions, you can click on the help button and click ask. Our helpful engineers are here for help.